In continuation with our topic, the money time relationships and equivalence, we are going to discuss about the three other types of annuity, which is the deferred annuity, annuity due, and perpetuity. So as being said and as being discussed on our previous presentation, deferred annuity is one where the first payment is made several periods after the beginning of the annuity. The annuity due is one where the payments are made at the beginning of each period and perpetuity, it is an annuity in which the payments continue indefinitely. So first, for the deferred annuity, this is the cash flow diagram. So for the M periods, there are periods wherein we have no annuity payments. And then, for N periods, that is the time wherein the annuity is being conducted. The formula in finding P when A is given, that is P is equal to A, times the quantities of 1 plus I raised to N, and then minus 1, all over I, times 1 plus I raised to N, and we are going to add the compound formula 1 plus I raised to negative M. Or in symbolic form, P is equal to A times P given A at I percent and N periods and then P given F at I percent for M periods. And then finding for F when P is given, so F is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to M plus N and then F in symbolic form. For the annuity due, this is the cash flow diagram, it is an annuity wherein the first annuity payment is made at the beginning of the period. So as we can see in our cash flow diagram, the final period N, at the nth period, there is no annuity made. So that is 4 in finding for the future value. And then formula for annuity due in finding P when A is given. That is P is equal to A plus A times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N minus 1, then minus 1, all over I times 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. And in symbolic form, that is A plus A times P given A at I percent and N minus 1 periods. And finding F when P is given, so that is Using the compound interest formula, F is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to N. And for the last, the perpetuity, finding P when given A, P is equal to A over I. So that is the simplest form or the simplest kind of annuity, the perpetuity. So for example, suppose that a father on the day his son is born wishes to determine what lump amount would have to be paid into an account bearing interest of 12% per year to provide withdrawals of 20,000 pesos on each of the son's 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st birthdays. So given the withdrawals is 20%, so that is A, then I is 12% or 0.12 in decimal form per year. N is 4 years. So that is from 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st, the, the N, wherein the annuity payments are being made. And then M is, of course, 17 years. And this is our cash flow diagram. We have to find 4P or the present value at 0 age. And then our annuity payments is from 18th, 18th to 21st birthday. In finding for P, that is our formula in symbolic form. So P is equal to 20,000 times 1.12 raised to 4 minus 1. All over 0.12 times 1.12 raised to 4 times 1.12 raised to negative 17. And this quantity will result to 3.037 and this quantity will result to 0.1456. And then P is equal to 8,847 pesos and 45 centavos. Next example, a man bought an equipment costing 
60,000 pesos payable in 12 quarterly payments, each installment payable at the beginning of each period. So, it says here at the beginning of each period, meaning we are going to use the annuity due formula. The rate of interest is 24% compounded quarterly. What is the amount of each payment? So, P is given 60,000. I is, we have to divide I, which is 24%, into 3 because there are quarterly payments made. So, per quarter, there is 0 0.08 or 8% interest per quarter. And then, there are 12 quarterly payments for our N. And using the formula for the annuity due, that is 60,000 A is unknown times the quantity of 1 plus I factoring out A to both terms. So that is 1 plus this quantity 1.08 raised to 11th power because 12 minus 1 is 11 minus 1 all over 0 0.08 times 1.08 raised to the power of 11. And then this quantity will result to 7.139 and then dividing both sides by 8.139 so we are able to find for A which is 7,371 pesos and 95 centavos. For the third example, determine the present worth and the accumulated amount of an annuity consisting of 6 payments of 120,000 each. The payments are made at the beginning of each year, so annuity due again. Money is worth 15% compounded annually. And then using the same formula in finding for P, given A, so A is 120,000 times 1 plus 1.15 raised to 5 minus 1 all over 0.15 times 1.15 raised to 5. And this quantity will result to 3.35. P is equal to 522,258 pesos and 61 cents. And in finding for F, we are going to use the compound interest formula. P is 522,258.61 times 1.15 raised to the power of 6. And the result for 1.15 raised to the power of 6 is 2.313 and F is equal to 1,208,015 pesos and 60 centavos. And so that is all for the three other types of annuity, the deferred annuity, annuity due and perpetuity. For your questions, comment down on our discussion section.